Hello fellow Augmented, my name is Dex, today we're going to continue the story of Deus Ex Mankind Divided. You are now up to speed, so let's get right to it. Left it off at the extremely tough decision. And apparently I can do both. I can stop Marchenko and then protect the future. Before so it's he'll blow up the residential... So there's both missions here. But I was given a choice. Does it say he'll only do once? I don't. I, sorry. Did he say he'll only do one thing? Uh, okay. This is not great. You fuckers. You piece of shit motherfuckers. Uh, fuck no air vents. Oh, sorry. We were expecting to find uh, salvation here. So sad it had to come to this. Control, I've got something. Yeah, you got something. Right in your face. And that something is my fist. Okay, 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 no pressure, no pressure. Pressure was so this looks like a safe area. Something's wrong, Mr. Jensen. Brown and his guests are in danger. I I no longer have eyes on them. Marchenko's threatening to blow up hundreds of innocent people next door. Only hundreds? If Brown and his guests die, billions of augmented people will be stripped of all rights and classified as less than human. You cannot let that future occur, can you? <laughs> Shit. God damn it, game. Why'd you gotta let me doubt myself? Uh, do it for the Augs. Do it for the people. This piece of shit game. Fine, I'll protect the delegates. He's right about billions of people suffering. Much bigger shit will go down if I don't protect the delegates. Ah, uh, I don't like this. Shit, I gotta get out of the way up there. Would you snap? I think I've had too much. There we go. Shit, man. What is happening here? Why is there a waypoint on this shower? Oh my god. The universe is falling apart. Okay, save the delegates. Save the delegates. Save the delegates. Shit. I fucked up. Can I still take this guy out though? Take it to Rambo, Come in here. Come on. Or don't. See if I can. That camera is a problem. Sorry, I meant that. Sure, it is a problem. 
There's probably people up here as well, right? It would be too fucking easy. It's not people, but there's tripwires. This guy's coming here. Okay, he's stopping now, thank god. Shit. I'm in the bathroom. Why is that a um... How is that a useful thing in any way? Can I just drop down here? Run! Holy fucking booby traps. Okay. Okay. So close. Well, not, not even remotely close, but damn. They really littered the place. Okay, okay. Let's try that again, shall we? I have better luck moving through downstairs rather than upstairs. There's a lot of guards here too, so um, I wouldn't really call it luck. They're fucking flying anyway. Jesus, man, they're These guys are equipped for war. No, I think I prefer the upstairs. Shit for me, that's what it's going to be. No eyes on Mark. Fire at me. Shit. No, that is not the way. I don't get it. What do you want from me, game? What is the smart way of going about it? I mean, I know where I failed there. I, the guy turned around. And then there's that asshole. No eyes on primary. This is it. Get ready. Shit. No. Not that way. Not that way. This is going to be harder than expected. I need a plan. No eyes on primary. Select is off. Fire at win. I think I need to take out this guy. Five until cleanup. Wait 
Platoon for vector report. Next to the less than 20. Okay. Last time it opened. Why did it not open this time? <sighs> Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay. Making minor progress. Maybe a bit more than minor progress. Break that air vent, can I? Magnum. <laughs> okay, at least I got behind this guy without triggering the entire army this time. I can't disarm this shit, can I? And the rest of it is fucking bombs and crap. So I have to try to take out these guys and take it the long way. Oh shit, that's gonna suck. That is gonna suck big time. Sure, buddy. I dare you to walk right into it. Or not. Okay. And it's just a question of walking past all that bullshit? Is with that elevator. Okay, I have an idea, but that fucking elevator is. Uh... <laughs> I was hoping for instant door opening. What is this bullshit? So I need to activate a biocell. Go invisible. Go to the elevator. Press the button, activate another cell. Oh, the drainage has stopped. Now it's draining but slower. Ah, so if I stand still, it drains slower. Myself into here. As we consider the importance of this moment on a national level, on a global level, 
On a humanitarian Nobody level. drink. The champagne's been poisoned. But I had it replaced. It's a coup d'etat de prestige. You and your guests need to get out of Apex Center now, Brown. Slater's dead. Tarvos is compromised. They've come to stop you. Can you get everyone to the helipad? Yes, yes, of course. My security team will escort us, but what about the other attendees? TF-29 will evacuate them. I'm going after the people who did this. Then you have a long way to climb. Okay. That was successful. Barely. McCready, I got to Brown. Warned him about the champagne. The security team is getting him and his guests to safety. Good, that. Fucking Marchenko wasn't lying, though. The residential towers are packed solid with explosives. If he uses that remote detonator... I'm heading to the exhibition hall now to stop him. Get your team started on defusing those bombs. Maybe with a little luck we can pull this off. Luck? We're both gonna need a shitload of that, mate. I'll see you on the other side. Let me guess, those fuckers are still here. A long time to arrive, brother. I would rather not cause more death today than necessary. But like the good soldier I am, I will do what I must. If you do not stop me. Time is running out. Okay, so I got to save the delegates. Now I can just go and deal with fucking Marchenko. Take mouth. I didn't kill him. Shit. I cannot recall where I came from. Damn it, god damn it, god damn it. I had... <sighs> Are you dead? Oh fuck. Oh fuck, Miller dies? Shit. Ah, uh, I had an air vent. I completely forgot where the air vent was, so I panicked. And yeah, now we stop Marchenko, okay? Let's, let's, let's go for Marchenko. Why isn't the... okay, waypoint updated, good. There's a problem. A lot of juice. Fucking that guy, oh, fucking sorry. Fighting that fucking guy is going to be a problem. Go, 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 go. I'm here, Marchenko. Why have you not come? Is your fate in hypotheticals truly that strong? Apparently not. You have made the right choice, brother. Why should so many die so loudly when a far more subtle message can be sent? To achieve my mission, I only need Brown and his guests to die. And you, of course. Now show yourself! This is going to be a heavy boss battle. Taking you down, Victor. I can already feel it. I do not fear death, nor do I revel in it, brother. But for some, I am told that it can be a relief. Tonight, one of us will find out if that is the truth. Sweet mother of lasers. Shit. 
fuck? He repurposed the goddamn drones? God damn it. I am not ready for this kind of fight, man. Whew. So what do I do? Do I take out the... Do I need to kill that? I probably need to kill this guy. But first I need the plan. I need a plan. I have the revolver. Okay, I still have the revolver. Good. Let's equip it here. What the fuck blew up? Oh shit, this is... Oh shit. I think I need um I have other things to do. Where are you running, bitch? Oh, there's mines everywhere. Okay. That that's maybe what happened. So there are mines everywhere and they waste me on the spot. Need to get far away from this guy. Shit. Jesus Christ, okay, no. I need to be, um... I need to be stealthy. Is that something I can do? With a fucker of this caliber? I don't know what I'm trying to do or where I'm trying to get. I think I have an idea now. You did not. We are not so different. You and I. We are soldiers. But we have our priorities. What are a handful of dead men compared to thousands of innocents? Maybe. Machine pistol. Okay, I, I have weapons now. Th there be weapons. I just need to... Um... Shit, damage-wise that is useless. No silencer. Keep the holoscope. Well, I was under the impression that I would not have to do any lethal stuff. But it seems like I cannot outrun 
I um, have no bullets for that shit. You've got to be kidding me. That's shotgun ammo. This is. I think he's growing in Watch me try. Why am I in here? What purpose has brought me here? I need a tactic. So what do we have? Armor piercing on this one. Electrical on this one. Okay. I cannot melee this guy. This is an intense battle that I'm not ready for. And then I die. Do I need to arm? Was he about to teabag me? What was he doing there? This maniac. Radic Nicolazzi. Yes, this is the Diwali fucker. Let's go with armor piercing. I started the level again because I've um, I've discovered the error of my ways. There is a um, sneaky way in which I don't get my uh, hands too dirty. Need a bit more energy for this ship. There is nothing here. Tired of your games. So it we're only delaying this. It turns out, um that I can turn his little toys against him. That is... Uh, exactly what I would like to do. Where are you now? Where? Where are you now that I need you? Access granted. Okay, now with this... New founded access would turn off the lasers. It's kind of hard to tell where the fucking drones are pointing. Maybe there was a skill point I could have put into that. No, I actually can't tell what they're looking at, huh? Go away, drone. 
Thank you. Now, um, let's hack this shit again. So we can make the truth go friendly fire. And we're gonna do that right now. That's something. The turret is on our side now. We're gonna let them fight it out. Don't need to be stealth for this part. Stealth here. And we're going to want to hack this. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Trace me, trace me. Access granted. Yep. And now we're gonna turn the drones against him. And uh, this one. So now he's fighting the drones. And we're gonna take this and put it in an area with a bit more visibility. And this place over here. Shit! What the fuck? Ah, okay. So turning that shit on, it's actually that his own tech is turning against them. And Creed. he shoots him down. It's over. Took me a while to figure that shit out. And I didn't look at somebody else do it. So proud of that. Smooth operator. New game plus. That smells like it's the end of it. I never asked for this. <laughs> that sounds like a tough difficulty level. Sounds like a difficulty level where I would get my ass handed to. Prague one year later. What is Santo CEO Nathaniel Brown took to the stage today to praise Interpol and Tarvis Security Services for thwarting what could have been a major terror attack during his safe harbor convention last week. Interpol has confirmed that a group of radical terrorists linked to the Augmented Rights Coalition wired the residential towers surrounding Apex Center with enough explosives to destroy two city blocks. Oh. As shocking as that fact turns out to be, Brown had only this controversial opinion to give. <laughs> the Human Restoration Act is a perversion of all the United Nations it stands for. In time, I believe saner minds on the Security Council will prevail. Strong words from a man with an even stronger bank account. <laughs> Let's see if his prediction proves true. Why does that even matter? This is Eliza hey, are you even it's always about the money. Supply. We won! Did we? <laughs> we completely disrupted their plan. Marchenko, the orchid, the bombs. We've been under too long, man. Time to come up for air. Take a breath. Janus messaged me last night, said Brown's been lobbying like a champ. He and the people you saved know the act isn't a solution. Picus will talk around it as long as they can, but that thing is finished. Janus always seems to have the inside track. Except when it really matters. Miller, right? I'm sorry, Adam. I really did think he was working for the Illuminati. Yeah, I suspected him too. For a while, we both did. By the time I realized he was innocent. We can't change the past. We have to keep going. What are you thinking? How many more plans do they have in motion? How many more soldiers like Marchenko are waiting for the call? 
Don't call him a soldier. He was a thug, man. Soldiers have a code of honor. True soldiers follow orders, too. He was prepared to obey his, no matter the consequences. Sounds like you're sorry he's dead. He made his choice, I made mine. Regardless, we want the men behind him. Behind the Human Restoration Act. The ones still out there in the shadows. It's time for me to start pulling them into the light. Well, now we got names. Manderley and Page. The Collective won't stop until we bring these guys down. Yeah? Well, there's one more name I want to put a face to. Janus. Janus. So that's what you've been chewing on. Look, I'll try at him, but I already told you, he doesn't like meetings that aren't on his terms. Then give him a choice. Either he sets up a meeting face to face, or I find him myself. Badass Adam Jensen. I think it's high time we met the man behind the mask, Alex. Don't you? This report just in. Law enforcement officials in Prague have tracked down and captured the bomb maker whose deadly explosive devices claimed the lives of dozens of innocent travelers earlier this week. Yeah, I did that. The woman, an ex-army demolition specialist named Allison Stanek, appears to be a religious fanatic and leader of the tech cult group, Church of the Machine God. Police arrested her and several of her followers inside the cult's headquarters, following an extensive investigation. If you ask me, folks, that is some very good news indeed. A coroner's report released in Prague today offers shocking new insight into the death of Dr. Talis Rucker, former leader of the Augmented Rights Coalition. Apparently, the primary cause of the doctor's death was the exceedingly high level of alcohol found in his system. Bullshit. No other toxins were present, nor were there signs of any suspicious activity. Fucking Pikus. Dr. Rucker tell me he had been struggling with alcoholism ever since becoming a public figure. I am sure I do not need to remind you folks that the organization he founded, the Augmented Rights Coalition, has been linked to last week's horrifying terror attack in London. It seems not so long ago that Dr. Talis Rucker was on this very program, trying to convince all of us that his Augmented Rights Coalition was a non-violent organization. It was Today, before course, he died. We are all a little bit wiser. It did not take long for ARC to reveal its true colors once Dr. Rucker was dead. Since last week's attack, the United Nations has officially labeled ARC a terrorist organization. As we speak, brave state police officers in the Czech Republic are raiding ARC-controlled compounds inside the Udalek complex. Here is an example of the defiance they are encountering. These... Tibor. Where you have it all wrong. <laughs> wrong. was not Ark. He was trying to kill Ark, kill the cause. But he has failed. We are strong, we are innocent, and we will not be used as pawns by rich, scared men who want to make us less than human. Nice. I'm sorry, young man, but methinks thou doth protest too much. <laughs> the Diwali criminal organization is under intense scrutiny this evening for their role in the London attack. Evidence uncovered by Interpol indicates that high-ranking members of the chapter in Prague supplied weapons and logistical support to ARC terrorists. Among those being sought for questioning is Radic Nikolatze, leader of the Diwali's Prague chapter. Sources close to the man tell me, however, that Nikolatze has gone off the grid, and it is unlikely he will ever be found. Oh. An indication of guilt, perhaps? Join the online discussion and let us know what you think. News out of Paris today, where a sharp rise in illegal underground publications may have links to a prison escape recently orchestrated in Prague. Last week, Czech state police were holding members of the underground news group Samostat on charges of disturbing the peace, human trafficking, and media terrorism. The radicals escaped their holding cell, however, and are believed to have subsequently made their way deeper into Western Europe. Shortly after their escape, a radical publication called Silhouette began appearing throughout France. Has Samastad rebranded itself as Silhouette? I am sure you will agree with me on this one, folks. No matter what name these people go by, there is nothing more dangerous than the spread of false news. False news, my ass. Whew. Wow.
What a ride. I'm not even sure exactly where to start wrapping up the story about this game. So it's obviously a uh, the beginning of an episodic uh, series because there's so many loose ends. At least there's gonna be there's several DLCs, but there's loose ends on the main story regarding the Illuminati and Bob Page and everything going on there. And uh, as far as gameplay goes, it's compared to the uh, Human Revolution game, it's that and more. I just felt it got, it took the best parts of it and just made it better. I've uh, heard in the beginning, before starting to play the game, that people were complaining in the reviews that it's a, uh, what is it, pay to win? Or it's just microtransaction fueled. I have proof in the game and all the recordings that I put on YouTube that without putting a single cent inside of it, without buying a single practice point, and I think I even finished the game with extra practice points, you can basically play the game without impacting your gameplay in any way. Probably if you really want to take in the entire spectrum of abilities, then you would have to either make the extra effort in the game to get those uh, practice points, which would take time of course, or just uh, invest. But all in all, I think the game is really playable without putting a single cent into it more than the uh, price that it's asked to actually buy the game to begin with. Uh, what else is there to say? The gameplay is good, the soundtrack is good, the story is... Maybe it feels a bit more average because there's a lot of shaded areas with this information organization under Janus and then the Illuminati and then the secret uh, Task Force 29 task that you get. The overall arc is okay. The core, the actual, what is it, essence of uh, the story lies in the side quests. Because what they did here with this game is that they painted a very grey, very sad, very realistic uh, portrayal of the human nature in a, what you may call it, in a very dystopian era. And that is the era in which humans and augments are kind of at each other's throat, everybody feels like they're stepping on each other's legs. And um, I feel that the stories they describe around it with the uh, refugees, with the actual humans having problems, the non-augmented ones having problems, and the grimness of how, uh, for example, police would treat augmented and how augmented would go to desperate lengths in order to escape this kind of treatment. And Gollum City, which was basically a slum. It, it, they really painted a how would you call it? a very realistic split between these two worlds and it's the kind of split that you can see even in our present time for example think of refugees and the, the countries they move to there's an obvious split there there's an obvious tension and this tension is presented so so intensely so clearly in the game and the stories they spin on the side and yeah it's it's more of what is expected from those sex and that is good story and good gameplay it's uh, it's over unfortunately and maybe another mention would be to the length of the game having played the first one and the second one and having done both main mission and side mission I can safely say that I don't feel like the length of the game was too impacted and let's wrap it up with the end credit scene is not the point. You should have all been informed. That is why we are here now. Volkart, what's done is done. The broad strokes of the operation were very clear and haven't changed. There are always adjustments that will occur in the field. You should know that. Adjustments? Those were not mere adjustments. Interpol was more capable than we anticipated. They have a new augmented agent by the name of... Adam Jensen who we believe may have had external help. 
possibly by the Juggernaut Collective or even Janus directly. We're looking into it, but we... All that is speculation at this point. Let's find out more and reconvene later this week. Thank you, everyone. That'll be all. It's your own fault. But, uh... I'm aware of that, Doctor. Elizabeth sends her regards. What the f... Report. Overall, the subject seems quite well adjusted despite the massive traumas he's experienced. And his memories are still consistent with the program. He is remarkably stable. Excellent. How close is he to contact with Janus? Very. What in the it's hell? It's only a matter of time. A matter of time until what? Oh, man. Oh, man. <sighs> now I'm really interested in playing the next game. I really have to check up on the, uh, the stories for, for the DLCs. If it's something relevant, and of course if it's worth playing, I'd be interested in um, checking that side story about that year in Alaska that Jensen is completely missing about what happened. Maybe. I think there's like two DLCs out now. Maybe. So I'll be looking into those, and if they're relevant and worth it, I'll definitely be playing them on the channel. But I think that is my opinion. Overall, a great game. Not missing anything from the classic Deus Ex experience. And yeah, if they manage to keep it up like this, I'm, I'm looking forward to an awesome, awesome stealth series. And it's gonna be stealth. Yeah, the game you can play in so many ways, you've seen all the options. It can be lethal, it can be hacking, it can be going for air vents. The options are endless. The game styles can be mixed or played separately. And even for the boss at the end, I tried shooting him. I'm not sure how much of the of me failing to kill him with bullets will end up in the final footage after I make all the cuts. But I've shot at that bastard a lot. And it's obvious that seeing that I played the entire game from a stealth perspective and from a hacking perspective and all my points in the talent tree went into those so it was a very focused approach because I knew from the first game that there are ways around no matter what path you choose you just need to find them so it was probably a bit uh, bloodlessly or berserkly of me to try and go head on and kill that guy when I obviously used hacking and stealth throughout the entire game, I should have thought instantly that, okay, I'm gonna hide from this guy, find a way around, and see what other tools I have at my disposal rather than go at him head on. Because head on was definitely not the one. Not for my playstyle. But yeah, let's wrap this up here. If there's another uh, credit scene, I'm going to uh, skip to it. Otherwise, you guys and gals, hope you enjoyed this series, press that like button if you like it, dislike otherwise, comment and subscribe, and I will see you when I see you.